Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Survival Dazzle Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about non-uniform motion graphs. Okay, let's start off with the following. Let's say you're given this graph, which demonstrates non-uniform motion. We can clearly see the speed is changing at different points here. How are we going to work out the velocity at a certain time? Right, first of all, we know that if we're given a distance time graph, I can use the gradient to work out the speed if it's a straight line. But now the graph is curved, so what are we going to do? We need to draw a tangent at that point. So at 10 seconds, we're going to draw a tangent. So let's draw at 10 seconds over here. Let's try to draw a tangent. Let's go. There we go. I want to draw it very slowly. I'll probably get it wrong, but it's fine. There we go. So I've drawn a tangent to the line here. Yes, so it's basically um, I'm constructing a nice triangle, and it's the tangent at that point. And then I can now work out the velocity by working out the gradient of the tangent. So simply, for non-uniform motion, I simply will use the tangent rule. So I need to use the tangent. Okay, so now look, and then once I've done the tangent, I simply work out the gradient of my tangent. So the gradient of my tangent in this case, let's do it right now. Um, so my change in y, this bit over here, is going to be 20 meters. And the change in x is going to be 10 uh, seconds. So therefore, the gradient of the tangent is going to be change in y over change in x. The change in y is 20 meters. The change in x is 10 seconds. Therefore, it's 2 meters per second. Wonderful. So if you have non-uniform motion, to solve the problem, you use the tangent rule. You draw the tangent, then you work out the gradient of the tangent. Okay, look at another example. So that's for a distance time graph. What about if we have a velocity time graph, and you're asked to work out the acceleration? Well, normally, if I have a velocity time graph, I simply work out the gradient, and that will tell me the acceleration. So usually, the gradient will be equal to the acceleration. So, how, if I've got the curve now, how am I going to do it? Once again, you use the tangent rule. So, if we're looking at the acceleration at 4 seconds. So, go to 4 seconds, mark a point, then draw the tangent at that point here. So, I'm going to draw the tangent at that point. Ah, oh, it's gone off. Draw the tangent at that point. Let's go. I'm going to go for there. That's the tangent at that point. Drop the line once again. Drop it across. There we go. Okay, so now we've done the tangent. We can now work out the gradient of this tangent. It would tell me the acceleration. So the acceleration can be found, the acceleration at a certain point will be equal to the gradient of the tangent. So the gradient of the tangent, let's do this. So the change in y is going to be uh, 14, 50, let's go. So it'll be 15 here. 15 is going to be my y. So it's going to be 15 meters per second. The time from there to there, it's 2.2. 2.2. 2. 2. So this bit over here is going to be 2.2. Yeah, so 15 divided by 2.2. We end up with 6.8. Meters per second squared. So to summarize, if I'm given a velocity time graph which is non uniform, I draw the tangent and work out the gradient to work out the acceleration. And if I'm given a non uniform displacement time graph to work out the velocity, I draw the tangent and work out the gradient of the tangent. Easy rules to follow. So for the summary, here today's summary, when looking at non-uniform motion graphs, we need to use tangents to work out the gradient at specific points. And that's it for today. I shall see you next time for more Sir Razzle Dazzle Physics. Goodbye.